Just a quick little video before we start Mondays with Mom. Forgot that when this airs, it's gonna be Thanksgiving week and a bunch of y'all gonna be out in the roads traveling and getting ready to go to your uh, relatives for Thanksgiving. Just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving and uh, God bless. And take care. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. From Anna too. She's on the road back. Yeah, Anna's Kentucky. on the road. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to. <laughs> I just thought of that and I'm like, oh wait a minute. We, we wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. It'll be over by and, next Monday. <laughs> and I'm loving all of those comments that you're giving to me. You don't know how good that makes me feel. Thank you. So anyway. God bless, and uh, here's, without any further ado, here's Mondays with Mom. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>
And what year, what, about what year was it? Uh, about 61. Okay. So Sheree was No, wait the a minute. Toddler. It was you a were little born bit in 63. Right. <laughs> so I don't think you was a year old yet. Yeah, because Dad got out of the Air Force shortly after I was born. He was 10 months old. Okay. And so we moved Well, to... he was stationed in Okinawa. He, so it had to have been at least a year before I was born. Oh, it was before we were even married. I think what? because I sent him uh, he wrote and asked me if I, if I would send him some books on oh, how you, oh y'all hadn't got married yet no oh, okay uh, yes yeah, that's what I'm saying so yeah. what year would that have been 58 7 7 57 57 mm -hmm. so it would be 1957 yeah anyway uh, we got the instruments and so he started teaching me and uh Cherie had a little toy guitar and she got under the table, kitchen table, and while he was teaching me to play and she was, she was pretending up, like she up, was up, learning up, to play yeah. too. She was just <laughs> going yeah, to town. See, you all had been married yet, so she couldn't have been around. No, yet. no. Oh, they weren't married when Dad started learning to play. Oh, so that, I said he when didn't... we went to Texas when oh, we moved okay, so was to Texas. He, he was just... You, you, uh, could just barely walk. 63. He's still in diapers. So it must have been 64? 63, 64, because he got out of the Air Force. He didn't start teaching you. He taught himself in 57 when yeah, he was in the Air but Force. Yeah, this, this is uh, in the 60s that so he started teaching So this was after he got out of the Air Force. No, he was still in the Air Force. Still in the Air Force. I hadn't been born yet. Yes, you had. We moved to Texas. Well, then, Lord, he must have done that right just before he got out of the Air Force. What? Taught her Teaching to play? her how to play. He did? It was just before he got out. Oh, okay. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, um, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I've got old fart disease. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to remember things that I wasn't even around to remember. Well, you, you wouldn't remember this. I must have been about four. When Dad was teaching her to play the guitar, because yeah. I okay. can barely remember it. Yeah, because yeah. I was a year, about a year one. Yes. Him for the first time. Okay. Anyway, he was amazed how quick I caught on, and it wasn't a month until uh... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I could. I can't. No, I think the foot's okay. I don't think we got the foot. Uh, anyway, anyway we'll it was one of these days we're gonna get all this done. We went to uh, our neighbor wanted us to go to her mother's and. and uh, oh, I just noticed something else. We're gonna keep going, but could you move the microphone over towards you just to? I can see the top of the microphone. <laughs> so anyway, the. The neighbors. Yeah, we're going to edit that little, <laughs> little snip day. <laughs> I've seen your foot moving and I've seen the microphone on the top of it in the camera. <laughs> this is real oh, professional. Real professional here now. Anyway, it, it was about a month we uh, went over to our neighbor's mother's home and we played and Right. Everybody started bragging how good I was doing. Who was that guy, that big tall guy with the glasses and the black hair that played the ma banjo? I don't remember his, he, his name was Mike something. I would still remember him. Yeah. Any, anyway, that was uh, just before we moved to Kansas. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's when I started learning to play the guitar. So this will uh, go into what we're about to talk about now when we went to Utah, right? Yeah, pretty much. Well, now just before we left, because I remember uh, no, 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 it wasn't. It must have been that guitar because I remember when we were staying when we were living in the motel. I was uh, playing with the matchbox cars on top of it, rolling them down to make, I, I was using the, the butt end of the case as a ramp and I was rolling them yeah. down. Yeah, what oh, that's was another that thing. Huh? That's the one that, uh, I think that's the one that I gave you 
No, because I think that's the one when when you all first met. Uh, what was his name? Carl, over at Progressive. Carl Union. Ben. Well, he, they met Ron before they met Carl. Because you, he, that's the one that he bought you when we moved to Utah. Well, anyway, what, the way so that what happened to the other one? Well, we'll tra a trade in probably. No, you yeah, sold one guitar to that remember. that musician oh, that's guy. Oh, right. The musician guy at the trailer park lived at the end of the street at the trailer park. What, what was that guy's name? I have no earthly idea. He was into some, like, really far out. Yeah, he weird. was into strange... Uh, but he anyway, Zeppelin. not to... He was, he was like a Frank Zappa kind of weird. He just... a nice guy. But, but not to confuse people what we're talking about. When we moved into that trailer in West Jordan. Uh, of course, I searched for uh, bluegrass stations. And uh, so they had this country station that I listened to all the time. And one day uh, it said this Ron uh, Spears was looking for someone to play bluegrass music. Yeah, they had like a tradeo kind of thing. Yeah, so I jotted down the number real quick. So when your dad came home, I, I gave him the number and told him about this Ronald guy. Spears. Uh, so anyway, your dad called him. And uh, I'll never <laughs> forget. In case Ron might be watching, I don't know if he is or not. But, oh, that's okay. <laughs> but if he is, I'll never forget. Uh, he come knocking on her door and opened the door. Here he was, about 18 years old, and it was raining, and the so hair cool. was down in his face. So he came in, and uh, so uh, we started playing, and he was a fabulous musician. Oh, yeah. Back was. then, most of his playing was the banjo. The banjo. banjo. Mm -hmm. He was good, too. Yes, he was. And uh, so then uh, he kept coming over, and uh, that's when your dad decided to go to Carl Finman's and get uh, uh, upgrade our upgrade instruments. Upgrade y'all's instruments. All right. So that's when he ran into Anton. Not yet. You, oh, really? You met Ralph Smith first. You already had... Oh, that's had, right. I forgot You already had Ralph. a bluegrass band going. Yeah. And uh, uh, I can still remember us practicing in the, in yeah, the that little, little bit trail. of trail. And, uh, what I remember is there's all of you were practicing, and back then everybody smoked. And that trailer, the trailer was full of smoke. Lord yeah. have mercy. But uh, dead of winter, we had to open the doors to ventilate the smoke out. Uh, Lord, people. Well, I had a little exhaust fan over the stove. Yeah, but I couldn't keep it. up. No. That's one of the neighbors didn't think the trail was on fire. Yeah, really. Back then, everybody smoked, I think. Oh, my God. But anyway, uh, we got to playing more and more. And uh, I guess, wasn't it in that trailer where we met Anton? What happened is Ron and Dad and uh, Ralph went to Carl's um, Progressive Music. To looking for something. I think you might have already bought some more instruments, sound system. Sound equipment. And Han was down for. in that area where all the instruments was, just playing on first one thing. He was a guitar player. And Dad and Ron and Ralph all was dressed like hillbillies. Had the hillbilly hats on and stuff. And, and Ron was acting like a gorilla and was a, walking in like a monkey, holding Ralph's hand. And acting, all three of them act like a fool. And Anton asked, Carl said, who in the world are they? They're a bluegrass band. Well, that caught Anton's attention because he was looking for a bluegrass yeah. band. Yeah. And that's how you all met Anton. Yeah, and what was the name of your first band? Obadiah's Organic Bluegrass Obadiah's Band. Obadiah's yeah, Organic Bluegrass Band. And you all got to dig, there's got to, got to be around here somewhere. We got to be throwing the pictures. Of... There's a big 8x10 picture in there where they were playing at the... Uh, uh, Muldoon's? No, well, yeah, they got one in Muldoon's and oh, one in the Art Festival in uh, the University? The Pioneer Village. Mm. Yeah, but that, oh, and another thing is that's the Pioneer Village that they moved stick by stick, brick by brick to Lagoon, the, 
amusement park. Oh. Is that what? Is that what it that was? It used to be out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, the owner of the amusement park, Lagoon, he bought the entire town Where? and had it moved to Lagoon. Huh. You all started that band in the fall of 71? And you all met Anton in the, like, February, March of 72. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> we started playing out. Well, uh, Ralph and your dad had fallen out, so Ralph quit. Because Ralph was more country than bluegrass. Right. Anyway. And uh, Ron and Dad, they, they clashed a little. Yeah. And Ron split off and started his own band. Well, not yet. But not yet. I, they were together uh, quite a while. Yeah, yeah we quite a were. Few years. Because we went up to Park City, and uh, we got a job up there yeah, at the Lagoons. Resort. I mean, Muldoon's. Sorry. Well, Muldoon's was sort of uh, well. Look, it all kind of happened all the same. But y'all had a regular gig on the weekends for Muldoon's. Yeah. And that was in Park City. A little little bitty old uh, one of the original buildings downtown in uh, Park City, Utah. That, what that was, it was an old mining town. And uh, it's still there. I don't know if it's small buildings or not, but it's... Probably not. Well, what no, happened the building's is rich, there, well, though. rich yeah. people from California noticed in uh, Park City mm -hmm. and decided to yuppify it, so it's, it's nothing like it used to be. But people loved our music. And, oh, yeah. Uh, it, it filled up every weekend we were there. We all became so popular for that. Uh, uh, what's the name of that ski resort? Big ski resort up there. Park West? Might have been Park West. That's the one that's in Park City. But you all got a few gigs playing there. They're, they're, they're big, uh, what you call it. Uh, yeah, it was Park West. I'm trying to think what, what they called that. It was like a, not a bar, but it was like a big... The Lodge. Yeah, the Lodge. Well, anyway, you all were playing, They and a film crew came in, and there for a long time, you all were part of a uh, Park City, uh, what do they call it, the uh, tourist? Yeah. Tourist uh, film? Yeah. T tourist Bureau film? Well, you we all were part to, of that. We went on... Uh, KET. That's another thing that you all went on that show that they used to have called. It's not uh, KET, that's Kentucky. Oh, no, yeah, they KET. But PBS. PBS, yes. Yeah. Well, they had it's the same, it was a nationwide program. It was called uh, Great, no, uh, Audience? Great Performances or something like Audience, I think was the name. I would it. give anything if we could find a copy of that. Oh, there's got to be an archive somewhere. Yeah, there's got to be. It was PBS? either Channel 7 or Channel 11, and I'm not sure which one of them seven. two. It was Channel 7. I'll, I'll never forget it, because I used to watch, when I was a kid, the car, or, uh, Sesame Street and Electric Company and all that different stuff. But they showed it, uh, I don't know, all around because... Oh, it was uh, nationwide. My no, brother. That's, that, no that, that show that PBS ran, that was a nationwide show. My brother lived in... Uh, Wyoming, and he said he saw me. Oh, everybody nationwide. It, it was a really cool show. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking they ain't great performing. That's another show that it, it was called Audition. Or? They had bells no. on. Wait a minute, yeah. that sound that rumble. Audition. Bell. I'm gonna have to Google. There's got to it, be a way. The show don't exist anymore. But the thing, and the, you know, the weird thing is, the PBS. Uh, filming studio for PBS was at University of Utah down the basement. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. And me and you were kids, so while they were videotaping their performance, we snuck into some of the other studios. They had the studio where they did Romper Room, and they had all the props and everything for Romper Room. I mean, they had all kinds of stuff, but... We ran them up. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were all over the place. It was so funny. Well, they were playing at this place at the University of Utah, at that, whatever that building was, but they're playing in the cork room. Oh yeah, it's another cork, the University of Cork room. I wonder mm -hmm. if that's still over. I know the I room's know. probably still there. We had a ball. Unless they tore the building down. 
We even yeah, broke we, the elevator. We used to break the elevators every week. But we got pretty popular uh, there in Utah. We but, even uh, got to go play uh, in Las Vegas once. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. They were there about, a, what was you, about a week? Not yeah. Vegas, no. You oh, were not Vegas. Wendover. Wendover. Well, you had, what you had done We is went you, to Las Vegas. No, it was Wendover. If you went I to Vegas, I, Vegas, I wasn't with you. But no, what happened is you all went on this talent show in Salt Lake called the Eugene Jelesnik Show. Right. We come in second. You came in second <laughs> because a blind woman played Donkey Serenade on a guitar. She won first. So she wasn't blind. I thought she was blind. No, no, but there was a blind piano player that was on that show. It was something, but anyway, it, it was... Dad had to help her tune her guitar. Yeah, he, she won. <laughs> he hadn't helped her tune her guitar. <laughs> she had lost. But I can't remember the grand this prize Ted was Mac kind of goofy. Ted Mack came huh? out and was judging. Ted Mack? Yeah, oh. yeah he was a, mm-hmm. what do you call it? He had a, a talent, talent show talent person. Uh, years ago. Yeah. All I know was the show that you all were on. Was Ted U- Mack, U- the original show. talent show is what they called it. They did no, go to Vegas, but I think... No, that show that you guys think... were on was called the Eugene Jelesnik Show. I think when you all went to Vegas, that was a different band. Yeah. I don't have no idea. Yeah. Y'all must it was the university down in, in Las Vegas. Um, that was in the late 70s, that's but Don, this all goes back to the early 70s. That's when Don was playing with us. Yeah, Do, um, Don Collins. Collins. Yeah. Yeah, because there's but certain this, times... But this is you... way, way ahead. Anyway, we... Uh, yeah, the Eugene Gillespie show, that was funny. Yeah, it was. Are we running out of time? Because... No, we're... We got about ten more minutes. Because, you know, by the time that we get into it and tell about the... No, you got enough time. I started uh, the uh, Utah Association. Yeah, that goes up into the well, that's a- way Music in, Association. Yeah, we, we to, yeah. Uh, but you all started... And like I said, Ron split off, and he started his own little group. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, it became this battle of the bands thing. It sounds funny, but back then, you all were the two biggest bluegrass groups in the state of Utah. Right. They did a lot we to got promote to bluegrass Canada. back then. We went to Canada. Oh, that's well, you're way, talking, you're, yeah, let's yeah. not get way, we're going way too far. Yeah. Uh, Stay with Obadiah's Organic Bluegrass Band. But anyway, the Obadiah's Organic bluegrass band you all decided to uh make a record yeah and what was his name the recording technician john john something john something he passed away but uh, what, what was funny is he worked there's a studio downtown salt lake real nice recording studio you guys were at what this recording studio was, and I know it ain't, the building might still be there, but I guarantee you that the company that he worked for ain't there anymore, the Muzak. Oh, and that man. recording studio was where they recorded Muzak, <laughs> the singers and everything. That's where they recorded the soundtracks that you hear at the grocery stores and so heard. Yeah. I remember but it, that. he worked for the music studio downtown Salt Lake, mm-hmm. and on the off hours, apparently, I don't, I don't know if they knew he was doing that, but he was moonlighting or something, <laughs> and got you guys in there and recorded an album. Yeah, that was uh, the uh, like an LP. Yeah. Well, yeah, you had you had the master tape, but he he had a uh, machine uh-huh. that uh, could. Uh, Make records, so yeah. He made what, maybe two or three. I know Ron wore one of them out. He played it till wood playing. Yeah, I don't know whatever happened to that, but I've got plenty of uh, reel-to-reel tape that I would love to uh, somehow digitized or whatever. Yeah, put it on uh, CD. I I know our reel-to-reel don't work anymore, the or the one that you got. I got two oh, of them back there, but oh, I don't know which no, one works. No, there's a place that we could send those to. Ooh, I don't want to send them. What if they get lost? Well, that's chances you got to take. I, I don't know of anybody in our general area that's got a re- All you need is a reel-to-reel deck that works, and you can plug it into a computer or digitize I've got it. one that works. Well, let's see what we, we can got do. got two back Problem there, is, but I don't know if they work. master reels are large format. 
she's you know, you're, wanting to you're talking about half inch tape and I yeah uh, she's got to potty can you pause it yeah cause anyhow like I said you all split up Ron split up with you and then started another bluegrass band so that sort of started the, like the battle of the bands kind of yeah. I can't even remember the name well, of his group Ron and Anton and Tom Mullins and somebody started a band, but I can't remember the name of it. I have no earthly idea. And mom and dad went with. Uh, Ted oh. was his name. Ted. Well, that was later. Um, later. I can't think of it. Dave Love. Yeah. Dave Love. On the banjo. Yeah. There are quite a few of them. And, and Jen, Erickson. Jen Erickson on the bass. Yeah. That would have been. When he one worked for the railroad. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now we're or like. Dad did or somebody. I know his dad did. Yeah. This, now this is somewhere between around what? Around 74? 74, yeah. 73, 74. Oh, and another thing you remember, dad went out and bought all that sound equipment. You got to all remember we lived in a trailer. It was a what? 60 foot long trailer. It wasn't very big. I don't trailer. even think it was a, seven, a 14 by 70. But the thing about it was, them big old speakers and stuff, he had to stack them in the hallway. So you had to get sideways to scoot down the hallway to get to the bathroom to get to our bedroom. I see, think... our bedroom was at the end. Mm -hmm. On the way to our bedroom was the bathroom. And then later on, y'all cut a hole in the side of it and made a washroom. Yeah, I remember that. Before that, I can't remember where the washing machine was at. You know what? I can't we didn't either. We have one, I don't think. We did, and I think we added that when we... Uh... Right after we moved in. I think mom and dad had the longest revolving charge account ever was in history. Oh, progressive. And progressive music. music. It, 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 sent, uh, it sent Carl's kids to college. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because there was one, two, three complete sound systems that dad bought from him. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I remember exactly. Because see, it, what happened is that now the first sound system I didn't have anything to do with because I was too young. But by the time that second sound system come around, I was getting old enough, and I, and I was into electronics. Well, I'm still into electronics. And I got into the sound thing and everything. So by then I was, what, maybe 11, 12 years old? Yeah. I was running sound for you guys. Yes, you were. Yeah, he done a good, awesome job. And uh, then I told him, because the second sound system he had, I told him that he needed something better as far as the soundboard, we, we kept speakers and the microphones, but we swapped the soundboard. We got a fancier soundboard. But that's when you started recording us. Yeah, and I was recording you guys and doing all kinds yeah. of stuff. Do you stuff. remember that big mega sound system he bought in 75 when they first started? That's what I'm Mark. talking about. Yeah, acoustic speakers, I'll never forget. They were so big, <laughs> they had built in rollers. They had like two 15 inch uh, loudspeakers and then they had a great big horn on the top. I mean, these things were monsters. I'd say they probably stood, what, about four foot tall? They were big. Huge. <laughs> you know, it was a little, little bluegrass pen, but Lord have mercy. You, and he had that travel wall, and it's a good thing he did because it barely fit the travel wall. Yeah. And uh, Lord, we went all over the place. So, what was it over in uh, Wyoming? Y'all went to the uh, oh. CB meetup. That's, you remember the CB meetup? Yeah, I remember that. I, I, don't, <coughs> even know, I don't even know if they do stuff well, like that. Well, they had some kind of racing going on over there. No, this was over in... Uh, Wendover. No, well, no, no, that's, no, this is Wyoming I'm talking yeah. about. Oh, when you Wyoming. all went to Wendover that time, they were having the Salt Flats races. Yeah, the Salt Flat races. And we got to meet the guy that drove the what they called the Blue Flame. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he almost blowed himself up. Yeah. I tell you, that's awesome. If, if anybody's never been to Salt Flats, they need to go at least once. It's not the coolest thing, but it, well, it's cool in the sense of the racing cars and the rocket cars and the. Uh, do they still have? Them? Oh yeah, 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 they do. In fact, now you can take your car out there, and uh, I can't remember what it costs, but you can pay a fee and see just how fast your car can go. <laughs> When they went to Wyoming, Dana and Mark was playing with them. Yeah, Dana would have yes. joined us. Yes. But it was a CB meetup, Citizens Band Radio oh. meetup. 
and uh, oh, it was pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, let's end it right there because we're, we're we we pushed the thirty minute limit. And yeah, uh, and that's not good. Well, no, it's okay. <laughs> no, this ain't commercial TV. We go five minutes over, it ain't gonna kill us. <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, uh, as always, God bless and everybody take care. And uh, we'll pick this up next on uh, next Monday's show. And uh, it's it's it gets interesting because <laughs> now we're going. Yeah, I got a our lot next, more to tell. Oh Lord, have mercy! And, I, and we got to bring up when you all went funkadelic bluegrass and, and decided to call yourself string propulsion and all. It got yeah. weird. It got really weird there for a little while. <laughs> he he had the electronic uh, auto harp and he had electric guitar. I mean, it it it, it got a little funky there. Yeah. But anyhow, as always, God bless. Take care. Oops, tune in next Monday. Something See you bumped. Monday. Bye. Bump that. It bumped itself. Well, mm -hmm. must be a spook or something. Mm -hmm. well, anyway, <laughs> y'all take care, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.